Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. If you're new here, hello. I'm so glad that you've come. And if you're returning, hello again. I'm glad to have you back. Today, I just wanted to do something super chill. Just a little get ready with me. Using some products that I've used before. Some things that are a little bit newer, but I'm mostly staple products here. Definitely staples in this little pile I have out in front of me. I wanted to do a more laid back style of video today simply because I am not having the best day myself. It's been a long one. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're gonna get started. Okay, I zoomed you guys in much closer so you can see the process. Um, and the first thing that I'm going to do is moisturize. I've already done my brows and I just used my Kosas Airbrow and Kosas Brow Pop. They're two of my favorite brow products right now. Really loving those. But I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I love this stuff. My favorite moisturizer to use. Underneath my makeup. I just love how hydrated it makes my skin feel and it gives me such a nice glow without being like greasy feeling if that makes sense so there's been a little bit of a lack of videos on my channel definitely not how I foresaw things going going into vlogmas the next thing I'm gonna do is use my Viva Skin Nova I've really been liking this primer too. It's, it's been working for me. But like I said, I'm so disappointed. I really thought that I was going to be able to crank out a lot more content this month. I mean, I know we're only like 10 days in right now when I'm filming this, but I feel like time got away from me. And I mean, like for a multitude of reasons. I've got kids and it's really hard when it's just like, you most of the time and to make time to do other things fun things when you're a parent your own fun kind of gets put on the back burner and then I've been super anxious I'm sure you guys can see all of my little spots that's from picking I just I've been so anxious I've just been picking to pick like there's not even anything to pick I'm just like making marks on my skin for nothing because I can't control myself the next thing that I'm going to go in with is the Dior forever skin glow I have mine in the shade 3WO I really like this foundation too like I said staple products nice smooth chill I don't want no bumps in the road right now um, yeah, so it's just been a lot, honestly, and <sighs> trying to figure out my schedule too with like my classes, that requires so much of my attention, and I hate it. It makes me miserable. I hate being in college. Once I'm done, I'm done. Not going back. And the only reason really why I'm finishing at this point is because I'm halfway done. And I'm sure I would have had different feelings towards having to go to college and everything if my life was in different circumstances. But, um... That's just not the case here. So, it is what it is. That's the only thing I hate about doing my brows first. I'm gonna like feather the foundation and try not to like ruin your brow at the same time. All these baby hairs getting up in my foundation. I 
Okay. I need a sponge. I'm just going to use Miss Finch to get a little bit closer to my brow. Then I'm going to have to go back in with some gel. I can already see. They have fallen. But that's okay. Everything can be fixed. But like I said, I've been super anxious. I've got foundation on the side of my brush. So I was just dabbing it. You know, get the most out of what I pumped out. Um, really struggling with not having the content out. Disappointed in myself. I mean, like I said, it is what it is. I'm looking for my brow gel that I just used. And I put it away. Of course I did. This is like one of my favorite brow gels ever. I really love this stuff so much. If you haven't tried the Air Brow from Kosas, I highly recommend. I don't think that you would be disappointed if you like a nice voluminous brow. Because it definitely gives you that for sure. The next thing I'm going to go into is the Dior uh, Forever Skin Correct. I have it in 2WO. And I'm just going to take that under my eyes and probably around my nose a little bit. And speaking of lack of content, I have a vlog filmed, edited, uploaded. It's sitting in the studio tab and I am terrified to have it go live and I wanted to do like at least a vlog a week for vlogmas like in conjunction with the other beauty content and everything that I'm putting out this month just so you guys had a variety get to know me a little bit better since my channel's newer and uh, I don't know I'm going back and forth on it I think it's just because it's such a vulnerability and I just feel like nobody likes me. Why would they watch? People will make fun of me. But it's sitting there and I'm just going back and forth. I want to post it, but at the same time, I'm terrified. I'm scared. Which, I mean, like, eventually I'm just gonna have to rip the band-aid off, but I don't know if I'm there yet. But probably by the time you guys see this, I would have, hopefully, if I can get my mind right, have posted it already. And I'm gonna go in with some powder on my under eyes. I'm gonna use my Kosas Cloud Set. One of my favorite powders. I was really worried it was going to be a little too dark to use for my under eyes. But it is not. Which is wonderful. Because I love it so much. It's just so good. I'm just going to take some of that down the side of my nose. As well as under my eye. Just because I have dry skin, I don't like setting my face. But the sides of my nose, because of the retinol I use, the product just doesn't grab on as well in that area. So I find a little powder helps longevity for me. Done with that. Oh, I did not shut my concealer. That could have been a mess. Okay. 
Okay. For bronzer. Oh, I've got a hair stuck to my eyeball. For bronzer, I also grabbed an oldie but goodie. And up until recently, I actually thought they discontinued this particular shade. It's the ABH Powder Bronzer. If I can get it open. It's called Rich Amber. That's the shade. And I have, like, such a good divot in the pan. I don't know if you could tell, but there's a dip in that. Hopefully I'll hit pan soon. This will be the second one for me. I've gone through a complete one. And this will be the second one. If I can hit pan and finish it. I feel like I am running out of like TV shows and stuff to watch. So if you guys have any recommendations, I'm totally down to hear some. Because here lately... I've been going back and forth between Thousand Pound Sisters, um, Housewives of Beverly Hills, that's always great, and I've also been watching 90 Day Fiance Single Life, oh my goodness, that's my jam. I love it so much. So I mean, if you guys watch those. And you have something that you would like to chat about, drop it in the comments. Another show that I actually recently started watching is called The Hot Zone. It's on Hulu. And I find shows like this one particularly interesting because it's like a dramatization of like a factual things like the first season covers what is it called Ebola the Ebola outbreak the first time it came to the United States all of that and I just I love that stuff I eat it up so that's what I've been watching the lead actress in that is actually the actress that played in the good doctor or not the good doctor the good wife if you, saw, if you saw that show. It's a little older, so maybe not. But at least in the first season, she's the lead. She's real good. The next thing I'm going to go in with is blush. Of course. Milani Luminoso. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use a brush I've never used for blush before. Wish me luck. I'm just trying to get like a really nice feel for these rougher brushes. The eye brushes, phenomenal. Hands down. I love them. And the face brushes that I picked up though, I'm not sure how much I like them. You know, you gotta get that nose. Gotta have a nice blushed nose. Got a little bit on the chin, too, you know. Make it a whole vibe. For someone who really used to hate blush, I have come quite a long way. If you've watched any of my other videos, you would have heard me say, I started wearing makeup and really getting into it and, like, 2016 when we were like oh no 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 blush no you don't wear blush but now it's like one of my favorite products I always put on probably way too much for some people but you know what it's my face and I think blush is just so pretty I just love being super bronzed and super blushy. And that's just my vibe. My toe just cracked. And like, 
the most unpleasant way. That's all I'm gonna say about that. That was horrible. Ow. Okay. Oh, my husband just texted me. I guess he got some free pizza. So he's happy. He's working right now. I'm gonna go in with highlighter next. The highlight I'm going to use is a Stole the Show from Colourpop. It's a super shock cheek. That's what it looks like. It's a really pale, kind of icy color. It reflects a little gold, but more on the champagne side, I would say. But it's probably like one of the lightest highlighters I have. And also... I don't know like what rock I was living under but um why did I not know to apply this with my finger like I've never used my finger before now to do this and I watched a video on TikTok and I was like oh huh interesting so I thought I would try so far, so good. I want to compare how I would usually apply it, which is with a wee brush. Oh yeah, Brush Stroke City, which I mean that usually just blends away. Oh, something's going on in here, sirens outside. Okay, which side do you guys like better? This side or this side? I'm looking. Really, there's not much of a difference. They're both shiny as hell. Mm -hmm, little Cupid's bone, you know. Do the damn thing. Okay, I was just trying to make sure I was satisfied with that highlight because I wasn't really convincing myself very much there for a moment. Okay. Let's do our eyeballs. I want to see if this isn't a good... I have this eyeshadow primer stuff. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think this is any good. This smells funny. From Urban Decay. This is old as hell. Yeah, that smells off. It's gonna go in the trash later. Do, 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 do. I was like, oh, I'm gonna use an easy eye primer. I'm just gonna put it on with a wand. No, you're not. It's expired. Of course it's expired. It's not even that really that good. That's why it's been sitting there the whole time. I'm just putting on some of my Lip Enhancer from Jouer. If you've been here before, you know it's one of my favorites. They're so bougie because they're so, it's so expensive. It's stupid expensive, but it's just wonderful. I'm gonna use the Vizier Eye Primer. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. I don't even know why I went there. I said I wanted no bumps in the road, right? I'm trying to create, I'm trying to create bumps for myself. Now, do I know how this is going to go? No, I do not. <sighs> I do not usually use this eye primer, so do I know how it's going to act? Not particularly. So, something's telling me I probably should set this down. Maybe give it a second. I don't know if this is going to dry down or not. But while we're here, have you guys seen the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton collection? 
I am like, I want it and I want it now. I'm really mad that it's not being released until the 26th. But you best believe I have signed up for email and text updates. Okay, that didn't really dry down that much. My camera says she's hot. So I'm going to turn her off and set my eyeballs. I'll be back. We're back. I've zoomed you guys in even more so we can do some eyeshadow with Natasha Denona Retro. And I'm sorry if I'm boring you guys. Honestly, I just don't talk to a lot of people all the time. If you're new, I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. I don't really ever leave my house. Very rarely. So, I mean, it is what it is. I am going to grab a nice fluffy blending brush. This is going to be a rougher 15 if you're wondering. And what color shall I go into? Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to pick up the Nude Mauve. I've never used this shade. Let's test it out. But like I said, I really, I don't talk to anybody. I have nobody to speak to but my kids. And it makes it really hard sometimes. Like, when I have to go places, sometimes I have issues with, like, social interaction. And, I mean, I know it's like, oh, it's your fault. You put yourself in that position. But, I mean, I have anxiety. Very, very bad anxiety. Like, the other day, I placed an order for Sephora. I didn't do my due diligence. I thought it was a mall. It was not a mall. It was one of those little like strips where you have to parallel park and stuff. That is like not my scene. Um, I definitely cannot parallel park my car. Um, I don't know what I was thinking and not checking where I was going before I went um but I definitely didn't and I definitely regretted the decision I had to leave immediately I could not even go in and get my things I sent my husband to go get them bless his heart uh he was able to pick them up for me while he was out at work so I mean it worked out great but it would be nice to you know be able to do some things for myself sometimes. That's a pretty shade. And it's like, it pulls way more purple than I thought. It looks very gray in the pan. Pulls very mauve just as the name. I'm going to grab a Morphe brush with no name. This is what it looks like. It's kind of pinched, kind of fluffy. And I'm going to grab some of Amara, which is, oh, I changed my mind. I want Andy. Andy is that shade right there, that purpley. Let's keep it purple. I have used this palette quite a bit. Quite a bit. And I can honestly say it's probably one of my favorite palettes from Natasha. Is this one, is this the only big palette I still have? Yeah, this is the only bigger Natasha palette that I still have. Sorry. Just covered you guys up. Who am I? I'm doing like a cool tone purple look. This is very unusual. Are any of you guys like stay at home parents at all? Do you work from home? How do you balance a social life? 
How do you find friends? Like, honestly, no lie. How do you find friends as an adult? If somebody could tell me, I'd like to know. I like friends. I don't want to have some friends. I hate being lonely. It sucks. Um, doo -doo -doo. The next shade I want to go into is Opar. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's this shade right here. I just want to deepen up my outer corner a little bit. And I don't want it to go too pink. I want to keep it kind of purpley. So this is kind of like the most neutral-ish deepening shade in the palette. I haven't used it before. So I'm just going to put it down kind of like on the outer portion of my eyes ball. And then I'm going to go back into the blending brush that I had used with that first shade. Nude mauve and I'm just wiggling it. Marrying the colors together so there's not that harsh edge right there. The cream to powder formula in this palette is just so good. I was ner low key nervous when I got it. I was like, oh, "This ain't gonna be. This ain't gonna be it." But I really do like it. Back in with a brush yet again. I'm just like over here, just trying to carve out a little space in the world for myself. Like, not trying to step on anybody's toes. Just doing my own thing. That's pretty much the gist of my life. I'm looking for another flat shader brush. That's just all. And then I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on my eyeball. I'm looking at all the shades in here. I'm looking at what I haven't used. And what may go with this look. Let's keep it. Hmm. Let's go with Helio. That shade looks like this. And I'm just going to use my finger. I was going to use the brush. I played myself. And that's pretty. It's very light. Not super impactful. I may go over with like one of like glitz or psychedelic just a little bit. Now I'm going to pick up that brush. And Helio, and I'm just going to take it just right into that socket and just bring it up. I'm going to put a lighter shade probably on top of it, but just for now. I'm just taking this brush. There's really like nothing on it, and I'm just tapping, sweeping, blending so we have a nice gradient there. Sorry, my husband is texting me again. I feel so special. He never texts me this much. But I will get to him shortly. He will just have to wait. He's working anyway. So who does he think he is? So I'm over here and taking it right up into the socket. I'm bringing it up and then just sweeping. That really came out good, guys. I was, I didn't know, but it came out pretty good. I'm not really much on the cooler Tim looks. But I will say this is quite pretty. 
Hmm. I'm gonna take the psychedelic on my pinky finger. I'm gonna put it just like right there on my tear duct. Like my inner corner right there. It really didn't do much. Not as much as I thought it would. That's better. I don't know why I'm using my finger. I have plenty of brushes. I guess I just want to make life more difficult for myself. I mean, why not, right? Story of my life. I'm going to take a Morphe M514 and I shall dip into Nude Mauve. And I'm going to dust that right underneath my eye. My baby is moving around in his crib. I can hear him. He's like directly across the hall. The big baby, not the little baby. The little baby's in the living room with my mom right now. And I took little baby to the doctor's office the other day for some shots. And his doctor had um, some nice information to tell me that um, he probably is going through sleep regression. I'm just taking Andy on just like a flat brush. Just going over it real close tight to that lash line. Which I was not pleased when she said this, what I'm going through right now is most likely sleep regression. Yay me. Alright, I think we're done with eyes, guys. Let me get a liner. Quite nice. Hmm, do I want brown? Hmm. I've got this tart one. It's like a bronzy. Maybe I'll do black. I don't ever do like an actual black eyeliner. Let's do that. I feel like bronze is not right. I have a black eyeliner. Where is my black eyeliner? I guess I can use this one from Rimmel. I have to sharpen it though. I've lost my Maybelline one in my little organizer over here. I got two, four, six, eight, nine, nine different pieces from Refer as like complimentary whatnots when you get um, brushes from them. And while it's been lovely having it all organized and everything. Um, I need more. <laughs> I can't find anything. I'm sorry, I'm quiet. I have contacts and I have to be very careful with my eyeball. Else I will draw on my contact and then I won't be able to see and I'm already blind as a bat anyway so I don't want to make it worse on myself guys something I never used to do I never used to tight line my eyes I'm so glad that I started to do that really has changed the game. I have an itch, so I'm using my powder brush. Eyelash curler. I don't know what is going on, but I've got like so many brush hairs just everywhere right now, and it's kind of tripping me out. I thought one was about to go in my eyeball because it was attached to my lash curler and then it just went poof.
now for mascara. I'm going to use tried and true. Y'all already know. Bite up swing. She's dramatic. She had to make a dramatic entrance. But no, for real, guys. I love this mascara. Like, my, la I have a good amount of lashes, and I feel like they're, like, average length on their own. They're not, like, incredibly long. But they're not, like, super short and sparse either. And this just gives me, like, the perfect amount of, of volume and length to my lashes. And it doesn't, like, get weird and only build at the base. No. She goes to the tip. It goes all the way through. It builds so nice. I love this stuff. Would definitely repurchase if I ran out tomorrow. What is your favorite mascara? Mine is definitely this one and um, Too Faced Damn Girl. I was a Benefit Roller Lash person for a very long time. But then I discovered this beautiful mascara here. mascara is done and for lips I just want to do something really nude I'm going to wipe off this lip balm and I pulled a gloss out so I'm just going to grab a liner I know one really will do this is Sandstorm from NYX I need a mirror it's closer to my face. Like I told you guys, I can't see anything. As far as like drugstore lip liners go, NYX is consistently one of my favorites. They just have a really good formula. And they last a while. And you can find any color you need. Alright. Now I've got this Juvia's Place Gloss. This came from the bronze collection that they did. And this one is Bronze Rose. So I'm just going to put that on. Oh, I forget how messy these damn things are. Okay, I guess that'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out and we'll have a little chat. All right guys, we have reached the end of the get ready with me. If you have like made it this far, thanks man. You're really doing me a solid and I hope you liked the look and I hope I wasn't too boring for you. I mean, I feel like I am a pretty boring person, but I'm trying. <laughs> keyword trying but I hope you like the look I really do like how it came out I really do I don't really dabble in cool tone purples too much and the lip might be just a touch too warm but I mean with the cheek I feel like it works it's just so pretty I say that about everything as well 
because I just love beautiful things. Any shiny, sparkly, anything. I love it. But until next time, guys, I hope you had a good time with me today. I had a great time with you. And I hope to see you back in the next one. So until next time, bye.